Effectively, play hosting had a massive problem. What? You expect the router to root? No. Oh my god, it's so little. Ah, uh, I'm actually going insane. It is power efficient. Hey Tech Channel, today I have a very interesting video for you. It's not like anything I've done on this channel before, because when I started working on this video, the circumstances were totally, totally different. So you might be wondering, how has this mini PC changed my hosting company? What, what has this allowed me to do? What problem has this solved which I didn't realize it could? Well, let me first explain what the issue actually was. So, Play Hosting had a little bit of a problem. As of right now, we are using full Ubiquiti equipment. And Ubiquiti is really, really great for the average prosumer. It's often compared to like the apple of networking. And I finally understand why it's called the apple of networking. I'm gonna be totally honest, Ubiquiti works great if you don't wanna do much for it. Like I bought the UDM Pro Max, which is apparently a five gigabit Router. However, what they don't tell you is the CPU maxes out at 100% when you're pushing around 500 megabit, depending on your IP and your firewall rules. Which really doesn't work for a free hosting company where everything is based on something called NAT, which basically takes all of the servers, applies ports to them, and forwards them, like IP forwarding. I'm not gonna explain networking. I don't really understand it myself. But all of those tasks use a little bit more CPU on the router. So in theory, the router I have should be good for 5 gigabit. What it doesn't say is, yeah, it can do 5 gigabit if you're not port forwarding everything, if you don't have aggressive firewalls, and if you don't do any packet capture. So that basically got me to the conclusion, oh, Ubiquiti is great if you don't really want to do anything with it. It looks really pretty. The wireless access points, they function really well. The web panel's easy to use. Don't actually ask it to do any real work, though. What? You expect the router? To root? No. So yeah, effectively, Play Hosting had a massive problem. And it was the more customers we get on the service, the more it would be stressing out the CPU of the core router, which is the UDM Pro Max. Because what the UDM Pro Max doesn't do, which a lot of other enterprise solutions do, is something called ASIC NAT. ASIC describes a computer chip which is designed explicitly to do one task really well, but it sucks at everything else. And on the UDM Pro Max, it does nothing ASICly. And you might be thinking, why is that a big deal? Well, at the minute, the UDM Pro Max can do about a million packets per second with IP rules and firewalling, which sounds like a lot, but it's not particularly when you can have one Minecraft server, if you have around 300 players online, can do almost 600,000 packets per second. And then you can start to see where issues may emerge. You get what I'm saying? Why ASIC is so important is that they do something called NAT ASICly, which is where the switch can do this IP port forwarding, and it can do firewalls and stuff like that on a dedicated chip for those functions, so it doesn't max out the CPU. So admittedly, they pull a little bit more energy, but I'm willing to spend a little bit more on the energy bill to go from 1 million packets per second to 770 million packets per second. And get this, this is the kicker. This solution was cheaper than the Ubiquiti switch. Was cheaper! 1 million packets per second versus 770 million packets per second, according to data sheets. And it was cheaper. I digress. Let me explain where the mini PC comes into all of this. Okay, I jumped over to the PC for this one to do a little bit of a diagram to explain how the mini PC fits into this. So, right now, I have my connection from my ISP, yeah? And that is going directly into the UDM that I explained. And then that UDM is then going to downstream switches, which inevitably connects to the servers. Oh, oh, that is not how you spell servers. Okay. So this right now is roughly the setup. And all of the calculation is happening on the UDM, which is therefore maxing the CPU out to 100% basically all the time. That is a no. This setup sucks. Now, let me explain where the mini PC comes in. So the ISP comes into what's known as the core switch. So the core switch, the ISP comes in connected to that. But then the traffic immediately from the core switch using a VLAN comes directly back out and get this, connects into the mini PC. The mini PC is running something called ViOS. It's a routing operating system based on Debian 10. We love Debian. If you don't know, our entire setup runs on Debian 12. Debian 10 is not too much different. And then 
then VioS is able to then do all of the operations we need, such as NAT and the firewall. So the ISP comes into the core switch, connects to a VLAN, which then goes directly into the mini PC. And you might be wondering, why use the mini PC? Why not use the CPU of the core switch? The difference is, is the speed. We're talking about a four core CPU, which has a clock speed of around 1.7 gigahertz. On the mini PC, this is the Geekcom. It has an Intel i7 12 core CPU, which is how we're able to get so many more packets per second. The switch is basically being like, oh, here's the ISP traffic. Oh, this is coming in on the ISP VLAN. We need to just send that directly to the mini PC to handle. Then that goes through VioS with the firewalls and necessary stuff I need. And then it goes back to the core switch on a different VLAN. Let's say this is VLAN 100 for the ISP. This is 100 going into the mini PC. After it comes out of the mini PC, it then comes out on VLAN 10, which will be the production VLAN. So then this is basically all the VLAN. So you have VLAN 10 for production, and then you have like, let's say VLAN 12 for management. Okay, then that then goes back into the core switch into another port. So then we have VLAN 10 and VLAN 12 in the core switch. And then from the core switch, this now breaks out into all of the server connections. Also management for things like the switches. So what makes these switches different from the Ubiquiti is that we're currently using the Astrista 7050S-64. Massive behemoth network switch. And that one core switch can do basically everything we need right now. And then the core switch sees that the mini PC is routing these two VLANs into it, and then it will send VLAN 10 to the production servers and VLAN 12 to all the management interfaces. If you want a more in-depth explanation of how the network works, drop a comment and I'll try to answer them. And if there's a lot of comments, I'll make a whole video about the networking because I'm not gonna be funny with you. This is really starting to go over my head, if you can't tell. So basically, this mini PC is able to do 700 times more CPU intensity operations than the ubiquity UDM Pro Max. Now, let me show you this whole system in action in the server room. Ah, before I show you the magic in the server room, how about, could I convince you to look at an awesome unboxing montage of this mini PC? Epic unboxing montage, go! <laughs> Oh, alrighty, alrighty. Maybe this is what we do here now. Maybe we're now an unboxing channel. Oh, joy. Oh, how joyous. It's a free computer. I've just been sent a computer for free. This is insane. Moment of truth. Oh. Oh, oh, oh my god, it's so little. I expected it to be... I, <laughs> I don't know what I expected. Is this aesthetic? Am I being aesthetic right now? Whoa. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So this is a whole computer. Oh, it has 2.5 gigabit networking. That's nice. That's really nice. Two HDMI ports, two USB-Cs, some other USBs. You've got USB 2.0 and 3.0. 3.0 on the front, headphone jack, SD card reader on the side. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, more things. Ah, uh, power cable. Why, of course. All right, instructions on how to disassemble it. I think we just wing it. We've got some spare screws. This is the power brick, okay. Wait, is this a wall mount? That's kind of cool. Comes with HDMI, that's nice. Out the box, this is everything it comes with. You've got the little computer, power stuff, HDMI lead, some screws. I believe, actually, on the bottom of the box, it has some stats about what's in the computer for the nerds. This is the, the Geekcom Mini IT12. The CPU is an Intel Core i7, 1280p, and DDR4, it's sodium, 32 gigabytes, and it has a one terabyte M.2 SSD. You might be thinking, what, what possibly could you do with a mini PC? Well, let me fill you in on my plan. My plan is to use this to be like a portable streaming setup. I just put this in a bag and take this with me and stream from this and have a full computer rather than relying on a laptop. Also, another use, if you guys remember back to the video I made about Play.Hosting, shout out Play.Hosting, link in the description. I need more servers. So I was thinking to test this little guy, I was thinking we should put a Minecraft server on it because that feels very on brand. All right. Should we open it up? Oh boy, isn't this exciting? Isn't this exciting? We're gonna expose its guts together. Oh. Oh. Uh, there's a little ribbon cable there. I don't know what that does. You can put a 2.5 inch SSD in here? <gasps> I did not know that. You put your RAM here. Yeah, these are just 16 gigabyte sticks of DDR4. You can see on that. I can't believe this is a whole computer. It's two Raspberry Pis big. Also, I just thought, actually in this moment, another use for this, because it's such a low power system. This is kind of the perfect node just to run like either Redis or a MongoDB. You've got the 2.5 gigabit inbuilt and it's super low power. It can just sit in a cluster and just 
host the databases for the that wait that might actually be your home you might be a database server what do you think about that no no i'd rather die than run redis ah uh, i'm actually going insane no! All right, here we are in the server room again. As you can see, the overflow stack is getting more and more as I'm getting ready to move stuff into the second tower. So, come here, have a little network closer look. Let me zoom that out. There we go. So this here, right now, is the current gateway, the UDM Pro Max. As you can see, it does have 10 gigabit connections for an ISP. The CPU just isn't powerful enough to be able to do 5 gigabit, 10 gigabit with all of the operations necessary to host Minecraft. So if you want to try to make like a setup like this of your own at home, I highly recommend just do not buy Ubiquity. Just do not buy Ubiquity. What you should buy instead is let me get my ladder. This here is the Ecom Mini PC. It is got a 2.5 gigabit LAN connected, which is going in to the core switch I told you about. This here, like I mentioned, is the Astrista 7050S64. And you can see we've got our ISP coming in on port one. Oh, let me see if I can get out the focus. There we go. There's our ISP coming in on port one, which is VLAN 100, which then jumps over to port two, which is also VLAN 100, which then comes into the input of the Geekcom Mini PC. So then, in the Geekcom Mini PC, this is what is running BIOS, and you can see we have a second adapter. This is a Ugreen 2.5 gigabit RJ45 to USB 4. USB 4.0 can technically run 40 gigabit of traffic across it, but we're only using 2.5 gigabit for now because that's all the setup requires. And also, this thing barely pulls 60 watts. At idle, right now, it is power efficient versus the UDM, which kind of guzzles power. I'm gonna be totally honest. So now, you can see here, we have a management connection on the switch. On this cable here, which is going to the other rack right now, just so we can get the setup properly, on this cable here, this is VLAN 10 and VLAN 12. One for production, one for management. So that then connects into switches that you can see down over there for the current networking solution. And then also connects VLAN 12 to this management port on the switch, like a so. And that is effectively how this whole mini PC setup has entirely changed how we've done networking Play hosting. My original plan for this mini PC was to use it as like a portable travel streaming setup. But then I was sat in the call with my networking people who know way more about this than I could ever possibly comprehend. And they were like, nah, dude, we could do something which is known as router on a stick. It's about taking one connection out of a thing and using the router and using VLANs. But yeah, that's an update from the server room. Let's hop it back over to the office. So yeah. That's how this little Geekcom mini PC that, admittedly, I did not expect it to be as useful as it is, has entirely changed how we do networking at Play.Hosting. I must admit, while working on this video, I've learned so much more about networking. I think, actually, I have just rented my first ever subnet of IP addresses from IPXO. So, Play.Hosting now actually has 256 IP addresses, which we can use for our servers to, again, improve the networking. So, if you did enjoy this little video, please make sure to smash like and if you're interested in more tech stuff please do subscribe a lot of people that watch these videos of my little passion side project aren't too familiar with the subscribe button let's say so if you could subscribe and obviously all the revenue from this channel goes towards play.hosting and improving the services we offer there and growing the little office home data center can we even call it a home lab at this point it's kind of starting to give home data center though <laughs> anyway tech channel that's gonna be all from me today thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next week later